Hi, I'm Kelly Chastain. I'm here to talk about everybody's favorite topic, testing, or as we like to say, assessments. So there's three types of assessments that we use in our county. So we have district-wide screeners or diagnostics, progress monitoring assessments, and then achievement assessments. Today we're talking about progress monitoring assessments. So these come with a lot of different names. We just like to make it complicated. So it can also be called a benchmark or you might hear your student or teacher talk about a case assessment. So all of these names refer to one test that we're giving across our district. And the point is that a third grade math teacher is giving the same test in her classroom as another third grade math teacher somewhere else in the district. The point of this is that they then as a teacher can adjust their instruction at this point in the year based on where their students should be with that material. Uh, this is an investment that we make as a school district and it's also really important that you also as a parent can talk to your teacher about where your student is based on those standards that we're going to be assessed on at the end of the year. So anytime we give assessments, it sometimes is natural for students to get stressed about a big test. And I want to make sure everybody understands that there is no reason for children to be stressed about these tests at all. Really, this is just for us and your teachers to make sure that we are appropriately adjusting the instruction for where they should be at this time in the year. So this particular test is an online test and the window is currently open and it closes at the end of this month. So in December, you should expect either to hear from your student's teacher or you can reach out to the teacher and find out, hey, how did my child do in, in the science benchmark at this point in the year? Uh, so it's another great opportunity to have conversations with teachers about standards and your child's progress.